super trooper and F nfts might be the worst currency in world history but i enjoy uh screenshotting them ah awesome and nfts are not currency nfts are not currency okay i like collectibles nfts are collectibles okay but they are tradable so they could be they're they're the 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 beginning stage of nf let me rephrase the beginning stages of nfts is not currency it's um it's a collectible right however those collectibles are being becoming uh subdivided into uh tradables let's call it tradables i don't want to say currency yet tradables right um And they have fungible. Uh, they're they're non fungible. Um, they're uh, they're discernible. I guess I'm not using the right words. It, it's it's at the beginning stages. That's one reason I like NFTs. The potential of NFTs is a lot. Is a lot. The potential of cryptos, blockchain, is a lot. Blockchain is NFTs as well. But um, unfortunately, Bitcoin has shown limitations right now. Uh, okay we'll see where it goes really um i personally would not be buying i i know that i don't want to give financial advice but i wouldn't be buying bitcoin even if it's gonna pop okay lions chicho could you explain nfts i don't fully understand to me they're just overpriced jams <laughs> and i've been i've seen people say there's a massive money laundering uh, for sure but there's money laundering on wall street M wall street is the biggest money laundering scheme there is aside from real estate right real estate is a huge money laundering machine so all of these economic uh i guess uh markets you could be in that could be used as money laundering and they are used as money laundering right casinos oh my god casinos are huge in in bc there was uh people were bringing in wheelbarrows full of cash and laundering it through the casinos okay so th that's what it is okay as for nfts i don't know the code behind it really i don't know the code behind it okay but basically they're unique think about it as a unique art okay at first it's it's art right but it has a sort of a, a marker on it that makes it distinguishable from others like it right so it's unique like people you know the best explanation i've heard is just imagine mona lisa there's only one mona lisa however there are multiple prints of it everywhere right everywhere some of those prints fetch a higher price than other prints right let's say you print it on a canvas right well that's going to be more expensive than printed on a poster right so nfts are original items that you know they're the original item right you they you know you can't forge them right what you can also do with nfts you can make them uh give utility to them so they can be used for things right so for example people are building nfts right I have friends that are building nfts for an online game and the nfts are uh, buildings right so this is an open world game right so we're getting into the into the point of uh you're buying items as if you would be buying items in the real world right so these friends of mine uh one of them has been designing worlds world he's a world he's, he's a world builder and has been a world builder for 20 20 plus years in the gaming industry he's got great designs right so you can design this building and sell this building now this building is 3d so when you enter this game the open world game you buy some land or go stake out some land get some land right now you want to build something on your land well you're not a you don't know how to do 3d right so you need to go out there and buy 3d objects right so they've sold homes right unique design it's just like uh if you want to build a house right in the real world you don't you're not a you're not an architect but there are designs out there that you can buy 
pre-designed homes. Oh, I like this home. Oh, I'm going to make this home. Give that to a developer and the developer will build it for you. Right. Or you can hire a developer and say, I want to, you know, work with them and create your own design. And I'm pretty sure these are going to be an, a new, I don't know if it's already happening or not, but I'm pretty sure people are going to approach others, um, creators who are making NFTs and say, can you make me a custom NFT? Right. And give them specifically designs that they want for the new building. Right. So th this thing's going all over the place. It, it's so grand. It's so grand. Now, is this a rollout from technocrats? Possibly, because as Facebook and Microsoft and, I, and all these people are coming out, they want to create metaverse, right? What is the metaverse? Metaverse is plug in, go to this world, build your space, right? Uh, not my cup of tea, right? I can honestly tell you, there's no way uh, I do that. I, I, might, I might do that for games that are off the metaverse, and I've done that before, open world games and stuff, go and play and whatnot, right? But there's no way I would go through the the gatekeepers, such as Facebook and Microsoft and those people to enter this realm, right? You can enter it right now, but it's all underground, right? No censorship, no laws, no advertising, well, maybe advertising, but no, no limitations on free speech, right? So that's one thing NFTs are. Think of it version of nfts could be oh you're buying a house right oh look at this house look at this house look at this house you're buying clothes you're buying a hat you're buying weapons uh mc mike uh, knows a lot more about nfts um and for me i looked into this uh when it's about a year ago i guess i looked really in, into this and went oh this is cool this is super cool this is super cool right so i lost that some of that immediate um details of it right i just learned it and i went yeah i like this thing so it's become a part of my psyche that it's a huge thing that could be incorporated into our world 